I've just woken up. I wanted to do that video that I just did. Uh, it's 3.36 p.m. Wednesday, September 12th, 2012. This is going to be a personal chat. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to do that. I woke up. I, I think I had a pretty restful night, even though I uh, received a ticket, a uh, parking ticket for Sweeper this morning. Uh, I was planning to wake up at 8 to, uh, to move my car, but I was just so exhausted, and uh, so I just slept for all this, for all this time. And I didn't, you know, I went to sleep quite late. Uh, so I received another ticket that cost me thirty dollars. And if I don't pay the thirty dollar ticket, it turns into a forty dollar ticket. And if I don't pay the forty dollar ticket, it turns into my license becoming suspended. And in order to unsuspend it, I have to pay a hundred dollars. And if I get caught driving with, without a without a valid license, then there's another two hundred dollar ticket. So all it, so from thirty dollars, it turns into forty, a hundred, one forty. Three hundred and forty dollars from thirty dollars. So if you don't have thirty dollars to pay for this, this is this is this is I, I don't know this this has to be like loan sharking. I don't know if anyone's ever familiar with loan sharking. It was uh, we we can thank the mafia for creating that nonsense. Basically, it's um, me giving you, let's say, uh, fifty thousand dollars in cash. You need a loan, you know. But you don't have a credit history, or you maybe you might be uh, from the criminal underworld. You need fifty dollars, fifty thousand dollars. Maybe you're a gambler. Uh, maybe you need it to, to pay off somebody else, or you're starting a business, or you have a etc. You're gonna just you 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 you're, you're convinced you're gonna take that fifty thousand dollars and you're gonna make five million dollars for whatever reason. Uh, okay, I give it to you, but. The interest on that fifty thousand dollars is, let's say, one hundred percent every week. So, if in what in one week you don't pay me, you owe me a hundred thousand dollars. So from fifty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars, that's mine. That's 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 that. This is why we have a government that that uh, sets rates for banks to like you know if, if I take out a loan for a thousand dollars. There's, it would be very, you know, I would pay maybe, I don't know, I don't know the loan chart rates, but 10%, 20%. So after a year, not a week, after a year, I would only owe them $100 or $200 on that $1,000 loan. Now you think about that $50,000, and then in one week, you have to pay double. And this, this is why, uh, well, we, we can thank the mafia for that. I mean, Thank you. Um, uh, I got an email back from Oliver, so he sent me the template. I looked it on my phone. It looks really complicated, but I mean, I, I, mean, I have to just examine it on my computer and just try to get an understanding of it. Uh, today is the 12th. Uh, today's Wednesday, so hopefully I'll have the comments done by today, and then I'll have ta my taxes situated for tomorrow morning. But there's no uh, immediate pressure on my taxes, but it's better that I do it as soon as possible, so I don't have to worry about it because it's, it's just such a nuisance, especially if I don't I don't know anything about it. Um, Yeah, see, the, see, the important thing about yesterday, what I did last night with the reading of that uh, report from the commission about uh, inmates and how the uh, the gang, uh, the criminal gang enterprises, flourishing and being nurtured by the prison infrastructure. And that's, I mean, that, that's the very important thing when when somebody uh, or somebody else is going to be doing this, going into government. You cannot go into government or an appointed elected position with the purpose to solve every single problem of society. You cannot do that. You need to go with your own set core values, I guess, you no know, principles, and just a certain amount of objectives. And of course, keep that in mind that you would like to solve everything. But if you begin to examine everything, you will be overwhelmed and you will lack the resources, the human resources, just simply that you will not have enough people 
not in, in your own time, your own energy, you will just be swamped and you will burn out within a year, maybe, or within a month, or just simply within the hour of you realizing <coughs> all these problems and all creating all these solutions to every single of these problems. It's very important that, that that's a, it's a very important. Um, I mean, I mean, do keep that in mind, though. There's all these problems, but uh, just, I mean, just use your best judgment. That's what I. That's what I think. I've never done anything like this, so I'm just relying on the advice of other people that I've uh, listened to, or just I don't have any references to it. But I've I've, I've heard this before, and I'm keeping it in in, in my mind. Um, I gotta, I gotta write down the formula for um, the local government and it's just simply why there's no accountability in the local government and why the local police department of the local government it, it's impossible for the local police department of the local government to investigate the local government for corruption, for cronyism, for uh, bribery, for extortion, for all sorts of these things that occur it's impossible and because it's, it's a fundamental structural flaw because the local government decides who the chief of police is going to be so with that in mind if they are already corrupted or they have plans to be corrupted they're not going to be hiring the most honest the most problem-solving individual they will be hiring the person that will let them or turn the other way, or even in some cases, partake in this pillaging of the tax dollar or exploiting their positions. Uh, that person will simply just look the other way, or or just ignore it, or flat out ignore it. And it's a fundamental structural flaw in in the way that the local government is structured in the state of New Jersey. We, you know, like I, I looked into the FBI thing. In the state of New Jersey, we kind of rely on the FBI to, to, to take care of all this shit because the local government, the county government, and the state government, and, and the state police, sorry, uh, no, because the local police, the county police, and the state police are, deter are in like, a, are in a partnership with the government. <coughs> Yet, the police officer swears an oath to uphold the Constitution. So simply me uh, saying that I've just in, I've just endangered myself. I've put myself in harm's way by saying that. That's why it's going to be very important for me to keep impeccable record and um, do whatever I can to surround myself with as many people as possible and find as many people as possible, as quickly as possible, to be willing to surround themselves around me because if if not, it'll be really simple. It'll be quite simple to just eliminate me from this picture. Either by having a local uh, enforce uh, somebody from the police or planting drugs on me, and then I go to jail for thirty or forty years by whatever, simply uh, killing me, finding a place where I'm by myself where there's no witnesses. It's not that complicated to kill people in society, especially in American society, it, with the intent of keeping it a secret. I'm not talking that what we've had some of these cases. These are tragic cases and. Uh, the the shooting in, the shooting that happened in Colorado with the movie theater. So, but simply just going out there to kill an individual is not quite you know it's not very easy I think. Anywhere really, not necessarily America. 
I mean, some places I would imagine would be easier than other places, like Russia. Um, Anyways, I'm going to get back to answering the comments. I received uh, in that one of the videos, someone asked me, I'm not subscribing. I don't know why. I'm going to ask him why. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I was talking about the capital city of Trenton. I don't, maybe he's, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I hope the people that continue to watch this are the people that, you know, you know I believe will become great people in whatever it is that they do simply because they're trying to not necessarily concerned about me or my emotional well-being or etc cetera, etc cetera, but simply because I might be sharing some profound insight or wisdom that will impact or will benefit that that is of benefit to them as it as an individual and uh, that's what I believe Because they don't want just simply, they don't want to be that person that goes to work 9 to 5 or just that miserable person that we see everywhere in today's society that's not happy with what they are doing in life. Well, why is it that you're doing this if you're not happy with it? Well, stop doing it and find something you're happy with. Well, uh, well then you're not, well. None of this is easy for me. I'm just happy, I mean, I guess. Anyways, I'm still concerned about the watch. If I should wear it. Because then they established the uh, businessmen of today's society. They're going to see it and they're take me a little bit more seriously. But at the same time, it's a compromise to my own integrity of not believing that materialistic possessions should be of some sort of uh, a status. Uh, it kind of, I think it upsets the, the innocence of me, which I maintain, or I hope to maintain in the innocence, despite uh, whatever happened to me. I'm, I still, I'm still innocent, I believe. Not innocent like I'm, I'm innocent of a crime. No, 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 no. Innocent, um, like a child is innocent. When you look at a small child, a baby, they're innocent. They, 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 you know, if they do something wrong, it's like it's this little thing that they do wrong, and they don't know. They get scared. And like, oh, sorry, or you know, like they're just they're just children, and they're growing up, and so they're innocent. You know, I'm 27 years old, but still, that's that's very important for me you know, to kind of hold on. And that's something I borrow from, or at least I maintain, because of a person like Dalai Lama. If you examine and you look at some of the things behind Dalai Lama, I mean, he talks about this type of thing that, you know, we should be, you know, we are children, no matter how old we get, at the end of the day, we're still this, too, 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 too scary, no, 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 or, oh, I did something wrong, no matter how, like, if it's in the millions of dollars that you make a mistake, or if it's simply you, you, uh, you dropping a piece of ice cream on yourself, or you're, losing millions of dollars of someone's client of clients money or uh, getting into a car accident or getting caught cheating on your wife or husband etc at the end of the day you're still that I'm scared I'm scared please don't hurt me so and I don't know that's just one way of me explaining it but you have to you have to you have to kind of like uh, watch Dalai Lama give some of his uh, uh, presentations or speeches or interviews or talks and they're all over the internet you don't have to pay for this you can just search the YouTube for Dalai Lama um, yeah, I'll end it at that on like a happy note so uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing here and with my operation that's I'm not sure if it's picking up or well, well, the fact of the matter is that I'm at least gathering um, on my own part this here where I am now um, contacts and networking is very important networking is very important no matter what you do actually anything actually in today's society networking is fundamental you having the ability to 
network is very important in today's society. You know, maybe it was always important, but in today's society it's much easier. Right? Someone can give me their business card, their personal card, contact information. We can meet at a later time using the cell phone, using the automobile to get to where we need to efficiently faster than in the 1400s where if, uh, you know, if, if like I simply put, and okay, I'll continue, I'll continue. Um, <clears throat> simply put, uh, you know, like I have somebody I talked to from Germany. Uh, if this was the 1300s, <clears throat> every time I send him a letter, he would have to wait months for it to get to him, and vice versa. But now, send. It's just a matter of him finding the time, and me finding the time to sit down and answer it. Um, and the same goes with meeting people from all the various parts of the world, simply for creating a business or a partnership or a congregation or whatever, do whatever, whatever, or whatever. In today's society, it's quite simple. If, you know, it's assuming you have the, the resources, boom, get a plane ticket, boom, get into an airplane, boom, 12 hours later, you're in a different country, boom, you go to the airport, you meet the person, you go, and then you go from there. Boom. As opposed to in the 1400s, you go on some godforsaken ship that there's no accountability, there's no, uh, the chances of you getting to where you're going are not necessarily 100% because of all the, maybe the ship might sink, maybe there might be a storm, the, there's no GPS, my ship might get lost, uh, there's no weather map, there's no weather alerts, anything could go wrong, mutiny, uh, <laughs> all these little different things, you know. Can you imagine mutiny on an airplane? Because you're flying on an airplane, you're flying to wherever you're flying to. And then all the stewardess and the captains go, no, the stewardess goes, mutiny! And then they're like, they, they, they take the camp, the, the captain and they have him like jump off the airplane. <laughs> they, they commandeer the plane for like, you know, I don't know, they, they feel like the captain treats them wrong and they're tired of it and they want to get paid more. And <laughs> Can you just imagine that? That would be terrible. <laughs> At the same time, people are concerned about hijacking the airplane and, oh, terrorist. Oh, oh. You know, it's important. I, I hope no one who's watching this has lost anybody because of it. Terrorist, but... And I'm sorry if you have, but, you know, I'm quite okay with laugh about certain things that um, involve the criminal um, mafia enterprise, whether it be Italian or Russian. And I have belief that, you know, the mere fact that I don't have a father today would be the result of their existence. So, I'm not, I'm okay with, you know, with them, kind of, not really, I don't know how to explain that. Um, okay, okay, I'm gonna get to work. Ta-da!